my video this week, I'm going to talk about the 10 steps to what I believe is successful weight loss on Slimming World. Um, obviously, I don't actually know whether I'm losing weight, but I'm starting to feel it in my clothes. Now, the reason I don't know, for those of you who haven't seen in my previous videos, is that I am blind weighing. So I'm going to class, I am um, getting on the scales, but I'm, but the girl that's weighing me is not telling me whether I've lost, gained, or maintained. I am um, just going with the flow. I'm trusting that Slimming World works because I've done it before and also I've seen the success of so many people on Instagram and on um, in, in my everyday life. I've got a few of my friends who've done really, really well on Slimming World. So I thought I'd put together what I'm finding to be the 10 things that are keeping me going. It's week three. So I appreciate I'm very early into my journey. But so the first thing I would say is to plan so I'm, I'm really planning all my food i'm using the um sorry i know it's back to front on here but the aldi um meal planner um it's um got a shopping list down here and we shop at two different supermarkets so we put waitrose on one side aldi on the other and we put all of the things we need from both of them on there we've got our meals laid out here so we've got monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and then some notes and i'm putting on there everything that i'm eating every day that is for tea and that's keeping me really really on the straight and narrow once i know what i'm having for tea i work around depending on whether i'm working or not um as to what i have for my lunch so that's what i'm doing to plan for my week and that's really really helping there's none of that coming home from work and going oh i don't know what we're gonna have i'm just um i just know what i'm having and it's either already or i it's a very quick thing that i can make or if i'm not working it's something i can make in the day prepare is the next thing that um i think is the second most important thing to do so preparing food in advance of what i'm going to do so if i'm working that next day i have my bag full of food for the next day i um I make sure that I don't um, allow myself to go hungry because I make sure that I've got um, lots of snacks and lots of um, lots of lunch sorted. And if I'm going to be working late, I'll take something to snack on the way home so that that gets me through for when I get home for my dinner. Um, so preparing the food is a really big thing. Snacking, as I've just mentioned there, I prefer, prepare my snacks. I I'm making sure that going back to never going hungry that I'm having lots and lots of snacks in between so if I have a meal I'm making sure that in between that meal I have at least a piece of fruit in between the breakfast and lunch for example um, lunch and dinner um, again I'm having um, fruit sometimes if I'm working I'll, I'll take some ham to snack on on the way back but that's what's keeping me full during um, the gaps between the main meals also, having your healthy extras. Slimming World have worked really, really hard to make sure that the food plan, um, food optimising is um, healthy and balanced and to make sure that you're getting your fibre intake and your calcium intake, that you have to have your healthy extra A, which is your milk, your cheese, your yog um, your, um, your, what is it? Milk, cheese, other things. I'll look them up. Um, your healthy extra Bs are like bread, cereals, nuts, um i think pulses are free so i'm trying to think what else i've got my book here uh so you've got bread cereals crisp breads cereal bars oh cooked fruit that's another thing as well so making sure i'm having my healthy extras normally i'm spending them on porridge or as my extra bees uh bread or um, sometimes I've had some nuts. Um, if I'm having healthy extras, um, if I'm having porridge, I will have um, my milk as a healthy extra. And if I'm having um, like a, a bread based breakfast, like a um, toast with scrambled egg on it, then I'm tending to use um, my um, healthy extras of cheese for having with my evening meal or my lunch. So today I'm going to have um, a um, on plan pizza, I'm going to have a um, a healthy extra wrap and then I'm going to top it with pizza toppings and make a pizza. I'll put something on my Instagram, SW Girl Lauren. 
Um, state of class, that's another thing that I find really keeps me on track. Even though I don't know how much I'm, I'm losing, and that's normally people's main reason for going to class, to find out how much they've lost, gained, or whatever. I find that just going to class and staying to class and getting that motivation from all of the other members is invaluable. It's made such a difference um, to my motivation, I think, over the past few weeks. Swapping ideas, um, helping other people, feeling that you're supporting each other. We also have a Facebook group and our class, it's um, it's such a supportive team because there's not just our class but um, our leader runs I think four or five other groups and um, it, they're all on there and everyone's swapping ideas. Um, the um the next one which is my sixth is um focus on non-scale victories so for me obviously it is all about the non-scale victories because i'm not having any scale victories because i'm not focusing on that number so i um have a particular bath towel that i like to use and at the moment it joins at the top as it goes down my body it opens up into a triangle so it doesn't cover the whole of my body that is one of my key things to be able to get that wrapped around me will be such a massive non-scale victory for me i'm just feeling more comfortable in my clothes that's another non-scale victory i feel healthier i feel like i've got more energy so all those little things will uh, for me be the big pull as i go along um just making wiser choices again is another non-scale victory um the other thing, um, the, the next point is is to let it go. So if if you have um, a blip or if you have um, a meal that's not quite on plan or you have, you know, you'll eat a pack of biscuits and we'll go or something like that. Um, uh, my leader said this week and I thought, God, that's brilliant. What a brilliant way of thinking about it. You have 21 meals in the week. So that's basing it on three meals a day for seven days. If you go off plan for one or two of those meals, you've still got 20 or, or 19 other meals where you can make the plan work for you. So I think for me, um, that that's that was such a revelation because I was like, yeah, absolutely. If you, if you want to have one meal off, just make sure that all the rest of it is okay and you don't suddenly think that one meal or one night out oh that's it I've, I've messed it up for this week there's no point trying for the rest of the week and just carrying on and feeling you know because I've got a night out coming up and I think that's bit that's really helped my mentality thinking about well that's one night out of you know I've got 20 more opportunities to to um, make it work for me so that's that's been a real revelation for me um, the ninth out of ten is um, to keep the variety going. It's so easy when you're following any food plan, whether it's Weight Watchers, Slimming World, My Fitness Pal, um, Joe Wicks Lean and Fifty, you or any anything else. You, you slip into that you you're eating this, you know similar things every day and you have your favourite things, but keeping that variety up is is going to be key for me moving forward i think when people have been on it a while they get complacent they get bored the the same things and that's when you start to go off plan because you think that you start to think about all the things you can't have rather than all the things you can that um this is not an advert at all but the the two things that have really helped for me um are two chubby cubs um, their Instagram, their Facebook page and their website, following some of their recipes and also um, the um, JD Seasonings, I bought one of their spice boxes which I think was the um, the best sellers I think it was called. Um, there's about, there's 20 odd um, different meal um, spice packs in there and some of them make more than one meal and and they've been giving me inspiration to do different things every night so there's like a, a bolognese in there which i normally make bolognese but it's nice to have a little spice pack that that you make it with there's a sausage casserole there's curries there's um chips and wedges seasoning so there's so many things in there which are absolutely gorgeous so i think that's helping me keep the variety up and then the final one for me is set a goal because i um I've always set interim goals and um, as my leader pointed out this week, people who set an end goal, even if it is, um, you know, in my case, it is very far away. And if I if I look at the bigger picture, it can be quite terrifying. But it for me, it, it just seems more achievable in a way because I'm like looking at that and going, that is where I want to be. That's what I want to achieve. And, and hopefully 
I, I will get there by, you know, keeping this this mentality. But I think um, the flexibility that Slimming World's given me is, is enabling me to stay on plan really well and hopefully I can continue to do that and then we'll get to that our goal. So my, my goal is to lose seven stone this year, but my ultimate goal is to get to 11 stone um, in weight. Um, which is probably the right, um, the, the healthy range for my um, height. I'm five foot seven. Um, and then um, just before I started doing this video, I saw on Instagram a, a quote and I thought that is amazing. Don't know if anyone follows SW Phoebes. Um, she's lost over eight stone. She's pregnant now, so obviously she is gaining weight again. But she um, she's really, really inspirational. She's the leader now. And she put on um, Instagram a quote, and I'm sorry I've written it down, it says, a big part of losing weight is believing you can do it and realising it's not going to happen overnight. And I just thought, yeah, that completely is it. That's where I'm at at the moment. I believe I can do it and I'm not looking for overnight success. Seven stone in a year seems like a huge amount, but it's only two pound on week, a week on average. And so for me, that pretty much sums it all up. So um, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I um, hope for the quality I videoed on my, uh, on my phone in the previous videos, but this is actually on my camera. So um, let me know what you think. Thanks.